this has been a long time coming. Ever since I started this, that I have been hitting about a talk about meditation, and that talk is finally here. There is no short amount of things that I can say about meditation. For example, I can say that for the longest time, I would full on burst out laughing anytime someone would suggest that I should meditate. I cannot believe how wrong I was. As most people that never tried something, of course I shouldn't knock it, but that's what we do, that's what we naysayers usually do, that's, that's how we take life. Anything that I don't usually do is not going to be a good thing for me, and that is probably the worst way you can look at life. Well, what changed, you ask? Well, I got desperate. I got to a point where I couldn't even leave my house without having a quasi-semi-anxiety attack. So that's when I decided that I would try anything and everything to get over this, even meditation. Once the decision was made, and since I had already gotten to a point of desperation, it was easier for me to embrace it. As with everything that I do, I enjoy getting to learn about it, getting to know everything that I can about it. For example, seeing it from other people's perspectives and needs, and from there, deciding how to proceed. I'm a person who loves gadgets. I love gadgets. I love my laptop, I love my camera, I love my phone. All these pieces of technology, they are designed to make our lives a little bit easier. So I decided that if I was going to introduce a new daily habit into my life, it had to be through them. At this point, my research focus shifted from a wider meditation world to a narrower meditation angle that resided inside a smartphone. This is when I found out about Headspace. I will put a link to both the App Store and the Play Store in the description below, along with something about its creator. I had this whole script written about what I was going to say about this, because I really believe that it's a very important step in what I'm trying to do. However, I could not spin it in a way where it didn't sound like I was trying to sell you something or make you understand that the only way you can achieve this on your own is to go through the same methods that I am going through, which is, which is the last thing that I want you to think. So I'm going to end this with a note. Try everything that you can think of. Try everything that other people tell you. You should try Headspace. Sure. There are a bunch of other apps over there. Try them all too. Try and see what works for you. Sure, I am super happy with Headspace and there is no way I could see myself changing right now. But who knows? I am me, you're you. What works for me doesn't necessarily work for you and that's the beauty of it. I'm, I'm not trying to teach you how to get over whatever it is you're going through. I'm trying to make you understand how I am getting over my issues, trying to make you understand how I am dealing with what I'm going through. So I'll see you tomorrow, maybe I'll go a little bit further into this, maybe I won't, maybe something cool happens tomorrow, maybe I will go somewhere, maybe, I don't know.